Hey, it's me again. So let's talk about being prepared. Being prepared means being ready to go when the bell rings with a pencil or a pen. Hold on, let me show you what they look like. Oh, uh, oh, I don't have the pens. What? Okay, here's a pencil. Here's a pencil. It's from the 80s. It's when my mom worked at Richard's Medical Center. Anyway, the 80s. I don't even know if this still is around anymore. Ooh. And also, here's another. This is a pen. I don't know if you guys know this, but this is what they look like. I have them in the back of the room for you by my desk. Pens, pencils. All right, be prepared. Being ready to go with the bell ring, pen or pencil, and paper. I also have paper, okay? And if you need a little notebook, if you want a little notebook, let me know. Give me a couple days, I can find you one. Anyway, uh, also if you need a folder, I have like a million folders. Now, being prepared means knowing what your assignments, tests, and projects are and when they're due. I'm going to list your assignments on the board that you'll see on the way out. They're going to have the due date and everything, okay? Every day. If you don't know what to do, look at that board on your way out. You want to pop in the classroom, look at that board on your way out, okay? One of the things you need to be doing is practicing staying ahead. Okay, this is something that no one taught me and I had to learn it later in life. So trust me when I tell you, if you stay one or two steps ahead of yourself, you won't be nearly as stressed as I've spent my entire life being, okay? So practice being prepared. Practice being ready, not just for school, but for whatever is going to come. And I'll pause now and we'll see you in the next video.